Okay, the freakiest thing just happened to me. I just got done making my top 10 spring summer discontinued sounds, right? And I told you that I was gonna go inside and get a cup of coffee, which I did. Uh, wax balls. <laughs> Sensi consultants. The consultant store is awesome. They need more blankets. I used to love the blankets, the purple blankets. They had like three or four different uh, purple blankets that they used to make. So comfy, so cozy. And now all they have is the stupid Disney shit. Anyway. Um, was I gonna say? Oh, I went. Oh, so I'm gonna get up to get a cup of coffee, and there was a slug on my foot. So now, do I? Am I gonna get warts? Am I gonna turn into a prince? I don't know. Whatever. I had to go inside and put my foot in the sink and wash my foot. Anyway, <laughs> good morning. It's Sunday morning here. You're probably gonna watch this on Monday. Um, okay, so I was tagged by Patricia Jackson. Wait. Yes, I think so. Um, to do why wax? Like, why am I here? What am I doing? Um, I made a video back in 2016, I think, um, talking about my sort of fragrance journey. But I'll just do this again. This way you don't have to dig that one up. And we'll, we'll make it quick. It's really not hard. I've just always had a fascination with fragrance. I used to, even when I was five years old, I used to rub my father's feet when he got home from work. He used to pay me $1 per foot and $5 for the back. And I would basically just be using Vaseline Intensive Care. But a lot of times what I would do is I would add my mom's really expensive perfume to the lotion. <laughs> just so that I, you know, could experience niceness. And um, just always loved fragrance. Um, went through the whole, even when I, when I was the little girl, I did the Sweet Honesty by Avon and the Anace and Nace. And then the exclam exclamation, Debbie Gibson bullshit. And then um, moved on to, I think Clinique had a couple of fragrances. And then I loved Elizabeth Arden. And then White Diamonds, was big into White Diamonds for a while. This, these are all perfumes. But there was always like a side of me that like just wanted everything to always smell good all the time, not just me. Do you remember, if you're 50 years old, you might remember that in the 80s they had shampoo and conditioner that was scented like perfume. I actually Googled those uh, images a couple, uh, a couple of years back. I should have saved those pictures and put them here, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that again because it took a long time to find those, those pictures. And I remember I used to get so angry with my mother because she wouldn't, she, when she would go to the store, she wouldn't match the Giorgio with the Giorgio and the, you know, whatever. Anyway, it was, um, perfumes infused into shampoo and conditioner, which I don't know why they don't do that anymore. Right now, I'm gonna tell you what I have right now. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do a perfume tour. <gasps> That's gonna be my next video. I'm gonna walk you through all my perfumes. There's a couple of girls on YouTube that when they talk, they do this with their fucking nails and shit. I hate that. Anyway, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, okay, so then, I was always into making people feel good, and I was always into fragrance, and so becoming a massage therapist was a no-brainer. I was the youngest person in massage school because massage has a tendency to attract people for their second career, like, you know, 30 and over. Um, a lot of people were like 50 years old. So I was the youngest one there, and I just absorbed everything like a sponge. Unfortunately, in massage school in the state of New York, they don't teach you aromatherapy. So I had to do that on my own. Um, took a few classes and um, I've been practicing aromatherapy for just about the entire 30 years that I've been in practice a lot of times I don't charge extra for it because I'm doing it for me more so than for my clients um, I mean if a client tells me that you know they're they feel like they have a cold coming on or whatever of course I'll use like the lemon and the eucalyptus and the peppermint um, you know if they're feeling like all up here and they need you know calming stuff I'll you know get out the jasmine and the rose and then just bring it all the way down, you know what I mean? But most of the time I'm doing it for me. It's almost like I'm treating myself every time I'm treating somebody else. I figure out what I need. If they're not asking for the aromatherapy, I'll figure out what I need and then I'll use those oils. Anyway, so when Sensi came into my life, I sort of tripped into it. I didn't 
uh, realize what I was getting myself into. I, I, I've told the story a thousand times. I fell asleep with a candle burning. I used to bring candles, incense, all that kind of shit and made my house dusty as fuck, okay? Like that stuff is horrible for your lungs and your walls and your animals and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, had more than ones that had a, a cat, you know, put its tail through the flame of a candle. And um, I fell asleep with a candle burning one night and it, thank God there was no fire or anything. I woke up the next morning and shit my pants. No, not really. But I was just like, oh my God, this could never happen again. And I had heard some stuff about wickless candles. Like, you know, of course you see the stuff at, you know, CVS and stuff like that. Um, not necessarily warmers, but a lot of times tea light, you know, holders. And then you put a little bit of oils and stuff in the top and blah, blah, blah. And I was doing that in massage therapy too, but it always seemed real dangerous. Those oils, they get too hot. And that's not really how you're supposed to use essential oils. You're not supposed to heat up essential oils like that. That's why you, we use cool mist diffusers, you know? Anyway, it changes the chemistry of the oil when you're heating it up like that. Anyway, so I Googled wickless candles that morning that I woke up and I had realized that I had set, you know, left the candle burning. I Googled wickless candles and a bunch of things came up and I watched a couple of YouTube videos. And so I went to a website and I, uh, I went to a Scentsy website and I was looking at the kit because it made sense financially. I'm not trying to recruit anybody here, but I'll tell you right now, I still have some of the stuff from my original kit. My husband broke the warmer, which broke my heart. It was a beautiful flower vine warmer. Oh my God, it was gorgeous. 100, 100 testers. At that time, they used to say 85, um, but we definitely we have like 126 uh, fragrances right now. So we definitely have more fragrances now than we used to. So there's about 85 testers in the big honking testers like this. Um, about a cube of wax in each, maybe more, maybe two cubes of wa wax in each. And I, was, I wasn't intending on selling it. I was popping that shit out with a butter knife and throwing it into the warmers. It was great. Uh, Simply Vanilla was the very first fragrance that I ever smelled and warmed. I loved it, fell madly in love with it. Uh, that's why Vanilla Cream, it has a special place in my heart because I, I do believe, I, I know that some people disagree, but I believe that Vanilla Cream is the same as Simply Vanilla. It's got the same set notes with the coconut thing, coconut water, right? So um, I fell in love with the product, but I did not want to sell anything. I wasn't interested. I was already working for a different MLM and I didn't want to like cross contaminate the waters kind of a thing. Uh, and I was pretty high up in the other MLM company. So but I just, I wasn't interested in selling it. I wasn't, I, was, I hardly even talked about it. I bought it for gifts for people. Um, and my kids were little at the time, so the buddies and all that kind of stuff. And then, so I quit within three months. I went inactive. It used to be that if you go three months without 200 PRV, actually it used to be 150 PRV. We're talking a long time ago. We're talking about 2016, 2014, sorry. I, I bought my kit in 2014. And so I didn't get 150 PRV in the first three months. And so then you go inactive. Now it's a year and it's 200 anyway. And so I went inactive. And then the next year in 2015, I said, you know, it was like October, I think. I said, you know what? I want to rejoin Sensi because I knew it was free to rejoin. By the way, if you've ever been a Sensi consultant, you can always rejoin for free. Um, I rejoined because I wanted to buy gifts for Christmas for 2015 holidays. And so that's exactly what I did. Uh, I think I bought 200, I think I bought like $200 worth of stuff. So I might've been a consultant for four months instead of three. And then boom, in January or February of the following year went inactive. So that was the end of 2015 and the beginning of 2016. And then at the end of 2016, I rejoined again. So a third time I joined. And then all of a sudden it was just time it, sometimes these things have to, they have to marinate like a good steak. You know what I mean? Um, it just exploded. I, I don't know if the society was ready for me to come out and be the rude ass bitch that I am talking about these simple little things that make me so fucking happy. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, but I will tell you that in between 2014 and 2016, even though I, I, I wasn't a consultant really, I was only using Sensi. There was a couple of times that I bought Sensi from another, in between, you know what I mean? And it would always be like two or three six packs at a time. And because there was no Sensi club or anything like that back then. Um, 
So from 2014, from the day I got my kid in 2014, and I, I th this is right around the same time of year because I joined in June 2nd, 2014. So I probably got my kit on June 10th or June 11th. That's what today is in, in 2023. Um, from that moment, I never bought any other fragrance from any other company. Not on a regular basis anyway. I did recently do a wax haul from a YouTuber who was making merch. Um, I'm warming through that wax, but it's not Scentsy. And she, she doesn't claim that it is. I was literally just supporting her company. I also went through a phase about three years ago, two years ago, where I bought a product named Pura. I'm not promoting them at all because the product sucks, okay? You might get tempted if you see it on your social media timeline to buy it. Trust me, you can go ahead and buy it and then be disappointed. You could spend the money and then be, be disappointed. It's basically this electric thing that you plug into the, the, the wall and it has a little uh, oil dispensing thing. And then you can, you can program it with two different oils to diffuse. And you can also, you have an app on your phone. I thought that was real cool. I'm like, why doesn't Sensi do that? Blah, blah, blah. It's because it sucks. <laughs> the fragrances were nice, but they were not strong enough. Anyway, so there's my why wax. I think that even if I lost my team tomorrow, even if I suddenly be, not became a non-consultant, some of you, some of you know that um, all three times I was a Sensi consultant, in 2014, 2015, 2016, I had different sponsors. My first sponsor was Trisha Paytas, who has like, I don't know, two or three million subscribers on YouTube. She doesn't know who I am. I never tried to contact her or anything. I just used her website to go through to buy my kit. I wasn't interested in being a consultant or anything. I wasn't trying to like star fuck or anything like that. Um, and then in 2015, I, I was under Shawnee Bradshaw, who's a piece of garbage. She um, left Sensi as a star director and I think she had 140 people or something like that on her team and just walked away. Just walked away, didn't give us an explanation, nothing. And then about a year later, she tried to come back to Sensi and she contacted all of us that were in her downline and said, can you call up Sensi and ask them if I can come back with my team? Bitch. Okay, we're going to break all the rules for you. Plus, you walked away with no explanation. Lied to us. Listen to this. Just didn't show up at convention one year. Literally, she was talking about going the week before. Then gave her an hour, superstar director, some bullshit that she was having endometrial cysts removed or some bullshit like that. And at that exact week, she ended up at another MLM's convention. And the pictures were on Facebook. Unbelievable. Anyway, so that was my second sponsor. And then my third sponsor got fired from Sensi because she threatened somebody's life on YouTube. <laughs> I have such a history with, with sponsors. It's crazy. I'm actually friends with the third one because um, there's no reason for me to not be friends with her. She never really stepped on my toes. Um, she, since he fired her, you know, whatever. Um, I tried not to get involved with the politics of that because I had actually out outranked her by the time she got fired. So, and that's okay. That's not, um, not everybody is supposed to do what everybody else does. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to tell anybody that I'm going to kill them on YouTube. Anyway, this is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I hope everybody has a great day. There's my why wax. I will probably always be warming this shit. Probably always, even if I got fired tomorrow, even if, um, I don't know, I, I love Sensi and I, it's not that I, you know, I think that the company has made a lot of mistakes over the past three years, a lot. I was making a lot more money three years ago than I am now. But listen, it's not my company. I still do what I do. I still sell bars of wax and every once in a while I'll sell a couple of warmers. I don't sell Disney. I have a couple of people that buy religiously for me because they're Disney people. But other than that, I hardly ever advertise the Disney shit. I'd, it's just not me. It's not my style. I've, I've been to Disney twice and I, I, it was like, well, the first time I was 18 months old, so I don't really remember that. But um, it's just not my gig. I don't like it. I don't, you'll never see me wearing a pair of ears. Ever. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.